What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Ant, and I have the lovely Julie. So guess what we are doing tonight? We're doing our night routine. We're going to show you guys what we do on a nightly basis. It's crazy, right? Every single night. Every, sing every single night. Every single night, as soon as Anthony usually gets home from work. Yes. So we're going to give you a little breakdown first. So first of all, you know, I normally get up at about 4 o'clock in the morning and get ready for work. Um... Uh, I'm normally causing a lot of noise in the room, mm -hmm. which wakes her up, which wakes baby up, and wakes the baby up. And, um, you know, so I'm getting together, getting my uniform stuff together. I leave the house around like 4.30. So, through the course of time from 4.30 to, I get home at 7 o'clock? Yeah. 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. Get home at 7 p.m. And I come in the door. Baby's already been working all day as well. She starts her day pretty early, right? Yeah, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So, she starts her day at 8 o'clock. She works. She does her thing. From the office and then um after that we join back up we we just like this like a force it's like a force <laughs> field i'm like, it's like a force field so we, i come back in the house seven o'clock you know mm -hmm. give her her um kiss you know kiss mm, miss you love you go upstairs and i have to shower she makes sure baby shower have to shower right so yeah he's usually showering and i'm usually finishing cooking up dinner cooks dinner every night when you work uh, yeah. When when Anthony works, I usually cook dinner. When mm -hmm. he's off, he usually cooks dinner. Yes. Well, some, most of the time when I'm off, we do sometimes we both go at it too together. So we both cook with each other. You know, mm -hmm. cook together. But um, so the night routine kicks off from the time I walk in the door. This is how it starts, guys. So step number one: baby is in the kitchen cooking dinner, and she is throwing down. She throwing down. <laughs> baby, you throw it down. Mm -hmm. So she's throwing down the kitchen. Big onion booty make the world cry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. That's all. I don't know. So she's either stir she, fry. so she so she's this throwing dun, 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 the stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is why I love her. This is why I love her. I walk in the house today. She's she's throwing down the kitchen. Like I said, step number one. She's throwing that. She listening to boys the men. So that right there sets the tone. And she got my glass of wine already already prepped. So step one, she's cooking dinner. I'm in the shower, whatever. So what we do next, what we do next is we spend about an hour trying to find a show to watch on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix or yes. TV, Netflix, HBO. Hulu, HBO. We sit here, we try to watch a show because we like to spend a little bit of time with each other. We're not big on TV, but we do like to spend a little bit of time trying to find a show. Mm -hmm. And because um, that show, that right there is like our way of connecting like far as like we can't watch any other show without each other yeah because you know how that's important yeah that is true that is important and then yeah so we spent a lot of the time trying to find out a show but mm -hmm. then what ends up happening every night is mm -hmm. um oh that's your hat on your hood yeah it's my hat oh freak me out mm -hmm. um so <laughs> we um spend a lot of time searching for stuff and mm -hmm. then we just end up talking and not even finding yep. anything yeah yeah <laughs> But one the reason why I love watching shows for her because we watch like like a lot of drama shows and a lot of like um um like a solve like w what's the mystery going to be before right. you actually watch it. So we take guesses before the show starts. Like who yeah. you think the killer is? Who you think stole it is? Who you think do that? And nine times out of ten we're both wrong. So it's just like yeah. we both like predict what happens, and that's why we watch shows because we like we don't just watch a show to watch it. We actually like get involved. We with talk, the show yeah, we talk about, and it. talk about it. So for example, um, I can think of two shows. The yeah. Queen's Gambit. Yes. When she was playing the chess games, we were like, all right, who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> so that's what and we then, doing. Um, yeah, and then the Undoing on HBO. Oh, if you haven't seen that, um, definitely watch that. But we were talking about who's the killer the whole time. Mm -hmm. And that right there, she had she had me on the edge of my seat. She's like, who do you think the killer was? Who do you think the killer was? Every episode, we were switching. Her both. We both were switching. Like, oh, I think it's this person. I think it's this person. By the sixth episode, we were like, damn, you know what? I don't know who did it. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why we watch shows and stuff like that. So that's step two is trying to find the show, which normally takes a long time. Step three. Step three is we make our way upstairs to the bathroom. Because guess what we're going to do next? Next, we're going to start brushing our teeth. And we normally do like a face mask. She, baby got me on face mask, which funny story about a face mask. So we did the gold face mask, right? Yeah. So if you don't follow us on social media, yeah. you would have saw on social media. Make sure you follow us on social media because you're going to get a good laugh. Because we did a gold face mask, right? Baby didn't tell me that. Don't put it on any facial hair. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know how facial masks were. I thought facial masks was like, it detects parts of your skin where it's like, you take it off and, and it's just user friendly. Negative. 
I put on my eyebrows, I put on my beard, I put on my mustache. So my thing dried up. <laughs> Babies didn't dry up right away. So she was like, all right, babe, you gotta go and peel it off. I'm like, all right. Got to my eyebrows and I was like in tears because I was scared. I was like, babe, I was like, it's not coming off. She was like, it's on your eyebrows? Yes. And then she, she had a boo-boo too. Yeah, so I actually <laughs> got to my eyebrows before Anthony got to his and I didn't realize I got some in my eyebrow mm. and I had to carefully take it off, but mm. I ended up ripping a lot of hair yes. out. And this is me. When I found out she ripped her hair off first, I was like, I was like, oh, no. I was like, <laughs> he was. I was panicking. He, yeah. I was panicking. It got to the point where Anthony just got in the shower and then just took it off yeah. that way because he was scared of peeling. I was panicking because I was like, there's no way I can walk around with just one eyebrow while I'm out. There's, there's no way I can go uno. I can't go uno. So that right there, that was, that was a, you know, a big mix up. So like I said, once again, our next step is um in the bathroom is we do our brush our teeth i got a new toothbrush automatic toothbrush like i explained in the next the last video so i got the new toothbrush we brush our teeth we do our our cosmetic job make sure the face is clean everything is moisturizing good, moisturizing mm -hmm. and then we get all that done and then the last step is my favorite step it's time to get in bed <laughs> after a long day what you want to do get in the bed mm -hmm. so so if we find any shows down here in um in the living room mm -hmm then we will go upstairs and continue to watch that until we fall asleep. Mm -hmm. um, or if we don't find anything, we'll just put something on for background noise and then usually talk until we fall asleep. Yes. And funny story though. So oh. The bed baby guy, right? So she told me a while ago, she's like, babe, you know, you be snoring. And you know, me, me as a man, I'm like, I don't snore. There's mm -hmm. no way I snore. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't snore. So what she does is, and I, found, I caught her doing it one night, and I was like, oh, sh I was like, oh shoot, oh, sugar smacks. <laughs> Maybe I do snore. So she, the bed adjusts. Like, you do the, the back, you can do the, the neck part, you can do the legs. It's like it's like a transformer bed. It's true. And it has like, vibrations. So it's crazy. So one night, I was dozing off, and I felt like I was on a roller coaster. <laughs> so so felt, Anthony so Anthony was snoring, right? And Anthony doesn't snore every single night. Mm -hmm. He snores some nights. Mm -hmm. So um, I was looking. He was snoring so bad to the point where I couldn't fall asleep. And I'm like, oh, my God. I was, like, hitting him. And he wouldn't wake up. I was elbowing him. And he wouldn't <laughs> wake up. Um, and then Anthony likes to remove all the, pill the pillows from underneath his head. So his head is flat, which makes it even worse. So I'm, like, mm. Googling how to make somebody stop snoring. <laughs> And they told me to elevate the, their head. So I'm like, oh, well, this is perfect. I got the perfect bed for it. So I put <laughs> I put it all the way up. And so I put it all the way up. So we were like, like this. And I fell asleep that way. So Anthony woke up the next morning and you were like. <laughs> I was like in. So this is how, I, let me give y'all like a demo of what I look like. So I like to sleep in my stomach sometime. But baby, <laughs> so look, baby like to have the bed in the L shape to keep me from snoring. So one night I was dozing off and I felt the bed going up. I must have had a dream I was in a roller coaster. This was my dream. I was like, this was the bed. She was adjusting like over and over. Yeah. So I went to go flip over one night, right? <laughs> in the middle of the night when I flip over, she fell asleep with the bed in the L shape. She's so small, she could fit in the L. Mm -hmm. I can't. This was a lot of months ago. Let me show you what it looked like me trying to sleep in my stomach with a bed in the L. This is me. It was so funny. Funniest. Was, I, I woke up with the biggest knot in my bed. It was so funny. I said, I said, babe, I woke up. I was like, yo, you forget to put the bed back down? She was like, oh. I was like, well, I had a knot in my back because I was holding on to the bed. Okay, the bed, like, literally, it's like a, it's like a steep incline. It was so funny. It was crazy. So now I've learned not to put it on that steep of an incline. Like, I don't have to do it mm -hmm. that much. What I do is when Anthony starts snoring, I'll move it up a little bit. And if he stops, yeah. then I'm good in that position. If he doesn't stop, I'll move it up a little bit more. So I'll keep going up. And then once, like, I can tell he's, like, asleep, asleep, and he's sleeping good, then I'll put it slowly back down before yeah. I fall asleep. She's a pro now. Oh, when I say a pro, like she just said, it goes up halfway. It goes back down. When I wake up, I'm, we straight out. I'm like, how does she do this? It must have the same program. Yeah. So it's straight up. But basically, that's our night routine. Mm -hmm. That's how we get through the night. That's how we make it. That's how we survive. And I love it. We've been doing that for God knows how long. Every single night. Mm -hmm. Every night. Every night. Yep. But listen, thank you guys for tuning in.
We love you guys. And guess what we're going to do? We're about to finish our routine. It's about that time. Yep. We're in bed by like 8.30. Yeah. We're so old. It's true. It's 8.30. Yeah. People try to, so it's funny because our family, they try to call us up. And if they call after 8.35 in the morning, they're like sending messages. What's wrong with you guys? We're asleep. You know, we're in bed. We are. So if you really need us, call us by 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Because if not, you ain't going to reach us. That's true. Leave a message at the beat. Mm -hmm. Beep. Anthony gets home at 7. We like to be in bed by 7.30. 7.30. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Listen, guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit the post notification bell. Every subscriber counts. Every comment counts. Comment below if you have any recommendations when it comes to videos, any suggestions, whatever it may be. You comment it. And you subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe, you're going to subscribe. Because I know you will. And this is day 17. This is day 17 of Vlogmas. We almost have one week left. One week left. We're getting through this. And I... I owe it all to her. There's days I'm like, babe, what are we going to do? We want to do another day? She's like, no, we got to do it. And I'm like, you know what? We do got to do it. <laughs> so it's all thanks to baby. So thank you, guys. We love you. And make sure you guys have a great night. And follow the routine. Follow the routine. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs>